Hello everyone, what is going on? My name is the Newbie Warrior and welcome back to my K-pop reaction channel. I post new K-pop reaction videos here almost every single day, so if you like this video and want to see more videos just like this one, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button. Check out some other stuff on the channel. Today I am here again, I am very excited to be covering Everglow. Um, I We just filmed the reaction to Adios, the title track MV. Uh, spoiler alert, it's fantastic and shocking um, based on what their first... <laughs> debut sounded like so yeah go check out that video that will be linked at the top of the description below if you want to hear first impressions on that you may have noticed i'm not sitting here alone this is my best friend nick i world i'm here to re react to k-pop too yes today. i have Same forced rate. him into my k-pop reaction layer where i react to k-pop and listen to k-pop while i play video games and that's pretty much all i do um so yeah so yeah he's here yeah. Um, and, uh, willing to film with me. So, I'm really excited to check out these other two tracks. Um, for those of you who didn't watch it, I did actually do a reaction to The Arrival of Everglow, their debut single album. And actually, I did like Bone Bone Chocolat, but I actually thought that Moon and D Plus One I liked better than the actual, uh, promoted track. So, yeah. So I'm curious if that'll be the same here, because I did like Audios. But I'm curious if if I will have the same kind of reaction to these tracks. Um, I probably will be listening to Audios again, just because we only heard it the one time. And frankly, the video has a lot going on as well. So just hearing the song will be nice. Um, yeah, here we go. This is Hush. Oh, another thing. Um, we were just talking before it started filming. Interesting that the album is called Hush. The title track is Hush. But the promoted track with a video is Adios, even though they have a different title track. So, if you guys know, I didn't see anything about a second MV. Maybe they're doing one for Hush. But if you know the story behind that, I'd be curious to know. Because every now and then I see one of these where the title track isn't promoted. It's kind of interesting. Here we go. This is Hush. Okay. Definitely different from audio nice. so far. A very mixed track going on. A lot of vocal processing, which I'm used to for them. That's pretty. I love that. I actually like this chorus more than the Adios chorus, which is weird. It's really good. This is a good chorus. Small drop, I like it. Yeah, this is a way different vibe. I'm impressed. They, they've nailed two vibes. It's pretty good. As usual, they have some really cool sample work going on. The use of the manually recorded snaps instead of a synth snap is cool too. Those harmonies were great. Yeah, it's good texturing. It's really good texturing. I don't know them well enough to know who's doing the high vocals, no, me but, but the high vocals that are behind this the whole time are amazing, great quality of voice. Yeah. Out of 10 would recommend Hush. This is good. Beautiful song. I already know why they didn't promote this. This is a much harder song to make uh, an impactful video for, I think. Ooh, that sample! Nice. That little decline before the riser. Not in your face like IDOs, but I still want to hear this. This is um this is a much more spacious kind of track. This reminds me almost um of Don't Know What to Do off of Blackpink's last album. Actually. 
<laughs> not musically, but okay, stop. Um, just in terms of how much space it has and the synths and how kind of quiet, um, quiet and intense it is, which I suppose is <laughs> fair enough. It's called Hush. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I like that track a lot. I think I like Adios more, but I I'm gonna have to listen to Adios again to decide. Because that, that is a really good song. I mean, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but I will take my side that I like Hush better. Just personally, yeah. that style, very, like, the calming side to it, beautiful. Yeah. And amazing vocals, so. Yeah, Great. it's definitely kind of a trancy. And like I said, you guys know, I I lost my mind listening to, uh, especially D plus one. I completely flipped out. And I, and I ranted about, like, specific synth samples for, like, an hour. Um, I don't have the same audio quality here because we've got a speaker set up instead of my normal, like, 7.1 headphones. But um, I can already tell you there's some sample work and Hush that is really, really unique as well. So I'm really excited to listen to that more and see what I pick up. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Let's, let's, now, now let's listen to Audios again. Um, for those of you who want to see the actual first impressions, actual real reaction to Audios, like I said, we just filmed the Audios MV reaction. That will be linked in the description below at the very top. You can go ahead and click that and come back if you want, um, or watch that and skip this. I don't know. We're going to listen to it again, talk about it a little bit. Um, and like I said, just focus on the music because the video had a lot going on. So didn't pay attention to that whistle at the beginning. That's pretty high. That's great. That swap up to the dirty risers, though. I like how this opens up to this pre chorus. And it builds. This build is amazing. <laughs> and it fades out. Oh, the whisper! <laughs> and then it hits you again. It's great. <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> that's why it's the MV. Well, they wanted, obviously, to show that they can do, like, in your face girl crush style. Which I think this definitely fits. I don't know who that is doing that line right there, but I really like that. <laughs> really well balanced sense. The sun just drags you in. It makes you want to listen and then Oof. just pay attention to him. <laughs> the whisper kills me every time. I love it so much. And then they yell the, the chorus too. Yeah, this is just straight up a festival song. Like, just, just fist pump, jumping. It makes you want to dance to it. And then hush. Just, huh. This is really good. It's good to focus on the vocals now. And just the music. The dancing was great. Oh. It's so... That second layer of bass in. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. no Whoa, yeah, don't want to hear that. No spoiler. Um, yeah, I think Adios is, is my favorite of the two so far. Um, it's close. 
but I, I really like some of the sample work on Audios. I think it's like top tier use of of synths and builds and escalation. Um, and the layering of that second bass synth is nuts. And the chorus with the whisper is just, <laughs> it's just like goosebumps literally every time. So, yeah. I'm just impressed. That's both Hush and Audio so far have been the songs that I'm going to be repeating for the next few days. And they which did, is props to Everglow for that. Well, and what's crazy is they did that on Arrival of Everglow too. Because the only song I showed you was Bon Bon Chocolate, the title, the promoted track. But they had two very different genres songs on that album as well that were fantastic. So it's apparently that's just their thing. It's just like sampling genres. Um, it'll be curious to see if they settle down with any genre at any point or if they keep just hitting the spread shot approach and just nailing everything, um, or if they eventually focus down on something they like better. But, yeah. <clears throat> so far, Everglow's still fantastic. <laughs> so that's my takeaway. Um, let's get into You Don't Know Me. That is true. I need to learn your name. So apologies. <laughs> this is going to be a cutesy song, maybe. Nope. And it changed. Nope. <laughs> nice descending. Like the echoes. Weird synth selection again. I'm a fan. They're leaning real hard into Girl Crush. Wow. Ooh. And we changed. Ooh. Oh <laughs> my gosh! What is that? that was great. The harmonies in that build were yeah. beautiful. Their music's cool. Back to the cuter style chorus. It's kind of like in the middle. We got some hush vibes, <laughs> some ideos vibes, and you don't know me is just the middle ground. It's great. <laughs> the rap slash spoken parts are like very um, like traditional go group. And then the rest of it is just not. Oh. <laughs> that <laughs> drop, It's so confusing. It's like becomes another song. Every time I hit that drop, it's just gorgeous. But they keep that... <laughs> that, like, dance... The dance bass. Yeah, that harmony is really cool, too. That harmony is my favorite part. And we changed again. Nice bridge. And it's building back into the dance vibes. Whoa. That was a good lead into that. Wow. Yeah, that upper riff. I like that upper line a lot. Everglow has told me, your fan group does not have a name yet, but I am in it. <laughs> Whatever we are. I Whatever we are, I am big one. Yep. <laughs> what? Back to the girl group chords. <laughs> and that's how it ends. Oh, the their girl music's group. so weird and it makes me happy. Like, is, you guys song. know I obsess over weird synth sounds, and <laughs> Everglow just keeps using them. It's it's so good. They just use so many weird samples. Yeah, it's fantastic. I think I think for me it goes Adios, You Don't Know Me, and then Hush. I don't know, maybe it's Adios, Hush, You Don't Know Me. They're all really good. <laughs> that's my, that's my <laughs> takeaway. 
I can't decide anymore. I gotta say, I think I'm going. Hush, you don't know me. Adios. Not uh, to say that I'm adios all is in not on adios. Good. That whisper chorus is like it is amazing. Instant. Oh. <laughs> um. Yeah, this is really good. I think after two single albums of just fantasticness. I think we have reached a point where uh Yuhua, please give us a mini album now. That's what you should be working on. Because they need a mini album and they're fantastic. They yeah. deserve it. Yeah. Yeah, this is such a good comeback for them. Like cuz like they showed three more I guess it's like two and a half different styles here, but none of these styles were the three different styles that they showed on their last album either. So they now have, like, solidly five different, completely different sounds that they've just nailed. So they can pretty much just make whatever they want, I feel like, and they're probably going to do all right at it. Um, and as long as they keep using cool samples and layering and really cool production tricks, which I noticed on all three of these songs, and I really noticed on Arrival of Everglow, um, I think they're going to, yeah, they're going to be fantastic. I am just excited that Everglow, they can go into any style and make it work. And yeah. I hope to hear these styles of Adios and Hush repeated again because they nailed them. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Adios shocked me. If you guys haven't seen that, like I said, I, I'll link that in the description. Because like I just I was just like, that's not at all what I thought I'd hear or see. Um it yeah. went back to my roots of black pink. Yeah, I was minute. like, wow. I, this is straight not their last MV, which it doesn't have to be, obviously, but it's just not what I thought I would see. Um, but yeah, as always, I would love to know your guys' thoughts on this album, on Adios. Um, do you think they did the right thing picking Adios as the promoted track with an MV? Um, or do you think they should have just gone with the braver, probably more risky title track of Hush? I would love to know. Um, how do you think this stacks up against Arrival of Everglow? I think for me, it's probably slightly behind Arrival of Everglow. I like Adios more than I like Bone Bone Chocolate, but I think those other two tracks um, I like more than these two B-sides. Um, but that's just me. Thank you guys so much. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day, and please remember to stay newbie.